Welcome back to Cloud9 Plays Resident Evil 4 The Mercenaries on the Xbox 360. Brought to you by Rocket Rabbit Commentaries. We have returned to the castle. That is Krauser breathing heavily because apparently it takes a lot of energy just to make his arm glow red. I'm going to skip through all these opening lines of dialogue because Krauser has freaking five of them to go through every time you start with him. And his knife attack, and yes, he does have access to the knife, and that was accessible as early as the GameCube relief. His knife attack has a large enough range to hit both of those barrels. I'm going to shoot Powder in the face. Powder just got it in the face. His tattooed com uh, companion just got killed right there. Actually, I'm pretty sure that all of the enemies that spawn as soon as you start playing, um, they have less health than the enemies that you need later. I'm going to use the arm attack now. Because by the time I, by the time the first garter emerges, there's a good chance that I will have the arm attack ready to use once again. That guy just got it in the face. He staggered his buddy over there. His buddy also got it in the face. Face attack. And I happen to have noticed that my kill score did not increase as a result of killing that Plaga. Throw the flash grenade, both to kill the Plaga, and get this guy in the middle over there as to not prompt the other guys to a stun animation. Because for some reason, these guys get over their blindness. As soon as, um, and he actually grabbed me. These guys get over their blindness as soon as they get staggered by anything. And you really want to use Wesker's, uh, kick attack because it's really powerful. That guy almost freaking got me again. Guy hit me with the scythe. I'm running low on health, which is just fine because I have a first aid spray, which I'm going to have to use now after kicking that guy's fucking head off. No, I'm not even going to do that. I'm going to use a, a green herb to save the first aid spray. Because it's long... Oh, watch this. Yeah, your helmet actually didn't freaking save you. Go fuck yourself. That is the garter, or was it? No, that was a flail. I confused it with the garter. It's easy to make that confusion. Helmet guys are really convenient to not freaking kill them in one shot. Maybe I can... No, I can't because Krauser was a little slow at actually setting up his arrow attack. Get this guy right here. That guy just died. But I'm not going to use a first aid item because A, I don't need running speed right now, and B, uh, I could say I could take one more attack before I absolutely need to heal. Maybe. And kick, kick. Crap. Don't kill me. You didn't kill me because I had invincibility frames. Get out your shield because shields suck when you're playing against them as Krauser. Maybe the guard is about to spawn. There he is. Getting into position. Didn't even get to unfurl his weapon. And uh, he did not drop healing items. Actually, I don't think the guarders ever drop healing items, because that's the second time I've noticed had to pay deliberate attention to to see whether or not they actually would drop a healing item. My new details like that are not necessarily required to know in order to play this game effectively. Just Actually, you don't really need to know anything besides just the main details. The main details are where you need to shoot them, how to kill them, and just killing them as efficiently as possible. Shield guys never get blinded, which is why I'm going to take out this guy's shield first and then use the time during his stagger animation to try killing him. Flail failed to hit me. Crossbow's right there. He, he has to shoot twice and put his crossbow down just to, you know, give him time to uh, register how screwed he is. Mask just got killed, because I'm pretty sure that shooting these guys in the face with the, with the bow and arrow, the mask guys that is, the mask is the only enemies that you can shoot in the face without killing them outright. The uh, crossbow actually does, the bow and arrow just do, it does damage by shooting them in the head. Also, please note that I'm going to ignore those archers over there, because Wesker, un uh, Wesker, Krauser unfortunately is not very effective from a distance. Which it may strain me to actually complete this level because I'm going to be in the same area I was the last couple times I played this level, going using a similar strategy: shoot mask in the head to activate the kick drop, then kick off the other guy's head. It got multiple kills in a row. There's a shield. Shield does not get staggered when his comrades start flying all over the place from Krauser's goddamn kicks. I love that Krauser uses the exact same animations as you would see in the campaign. Falling damage just killed that guy. Especially the kick attack, especially his running speed. If I'm not mistaken, Krauser actually also runs faster than any of the other characters. I might just be mistaken on that and knee you in the face. There are going to be some shield enemies in front of me, which is why I'm going to pull out the arm and kill all three of those guys over there. Great. Now get a hand grenade. Uh, I'm gonna, in the freaking, of course the ammo system would do that, I'm gonna overlap these two because 2 plus 15 is 17, which is less than 20, which means it's not gonna spill into another slot. I don't need any more arrows at the moment, so I'm not gonna worry about that. I got that shit over there. Use the bow and arrow to hit one of these guys, especially that guy, because he just tried grabbing me. Shoot that guy, but it failed to kill him. And maybe kick this guy's head off. I kicked that guy's head off, great. And now kill that guy. No. Hit the kill that guy. 
So guy in back, he already took some damage. Shoot that guy in the nutsack. And he just got blown back. There's nobody behind me. There's a shield enemy right behind me. Fuck you. I didn't think you were that close to me. Please. Crap. I'm gonna get shot. I'm gonna get shot. I'm gonna get shot. No. I'm gonna get shot. No. I was flying everywhere. I gotta get this timer. No. Oh, it's a... Ah. Shoot you in the face. Get the kill score going. Thank you, game. Fuck. Uh, you have to be... Also, please note that you have to actually be facing the chest in order to activate it. Use the arm attack to save my multiplier, please! And I saved the multiplier. Yay. I'm not gonna linger over here because Krauser is extremely ineffective at a distance. There's a good chance that you will not be able to effectively engage the archers. I can't believe this guy grabbed me right after I exited grace time. Uh, gonna... I'm gonna uh, run over here and then throw a hand grenade to kill all those guys right before the shield gets me. I didn't even get a chance to throw the grenade because this guy fucking interrupted the animation. Stop grabbing me. Enough with the grabs. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. That guy just got died. Maybe in time for him to actually register for combo time. Yes, he did. Gonna shoot this guy who's in front of me. He's probably gonna try lunging at me. No, he's gonna try grabbing me. Yes, I anticipated that he would. But even though I did that, it didn't freaking kill him. Use a flash grenade to kill the Plagas. Krauser also does not consistently kill Plagas with his uh, bow and arrow, even though the bow and arrow is really powerful. That guy also just tried grabbing me, probably. He did not die. Hence the cursor actually turned into a circle of orange at the end of the laser sight. And for some reason, Krauser has a laser sight on his freaking bow and arrow. Crap. I need to hit Mr. Dynamite. Before he grabs me, he's gonna grab me anyway. I'm gonna run over here because of the freaking barrel over here, which I could probably cut open. Lord staggers, cars are just staggered. Can't get shot through the window. I think somebody might have just tried, tried spawning with Plaga and nobody did. I need this healing item over here. Heal some health. Raise the difficulty. Stop this guy from hitting me. I actually killed him. Thank you. And, uh, I'm gonna squeeze this into the inventory slot by the magic of inventory management. Mercenaries, honestly, is a fairly good representation of the overall campaign because pretty much all of the mechanics that occur in this game also occur in the campaign, especially the fight mechanics. You know this game is survival horror, it's extremely action oriented, which is probably one of the main reasons why I love it so much. That guy just took some damage, the fucking shield guys didn't stop, I failed to keep the multiplier going. Lael fucking did not stagger even though his buddy fell right next to him, fuck you for being inconsistent with the rules! Gonna get a full restore now, and hit Mask in the face. Keep the door open because I'm actually standing it. Yes, I am, game. Please don't close it. I don't want to waste the time to just fucking get the door open. Shoot him in the face. Prompt Goathead to spawn. Uh, make the scythe miss his attack. Then use the arm attack to kill Goathead and all his comrades. That guy just tried hitting me. Maybe he died. I couldn't tell. And uh, get another flash grenade. You really want to you really want to amass an arsenal of flash grenades. Flash grenades are really consistent Ganado killers. Because they all activate the kick prop. All these freaking guys are right here. I wonder if I have a hand grenade. I do have a hand grenade. I'm gonna throw it now, right after I use this green herb right here. So that in case I get hit again. And unfortunately I couldn't keep the kill score going once again. I've been breaking my kill streaks way too often in order to maximize a kill score. Which is just fine because not only did I already break the uh, 60,000 point threshold? Um, not only did I do that, but since I did just keep, keep uh, the uh, kill score going right here, I'm not even sure what I'm talking about anymore. I'm going to shoot this guy over here. Just like that. I also, I also have postulated on numerous occasions that shooting these guys in the legs with Krauser causes them to die more frequently. Either that, or I'm just unfortunate enough to keep coming across enemies who always have more than 10 health. I'm gonna use the explosive barrel over there, that is before I get shot in the side because of the fucking archer. The archer is gonna complicate you being over here in the first place. And since I have the arm attack accessible, I'm gonna get this timer over here. And then wait for the freaking enemies to start spawning. I'm gonna prompt the guarder to spawn as soon as possible. Get the kick prop. Not keep the kill score going because I just I fucking failed to uh, sustain it once again. That's a 20 drop. Can't use the 20 drop. Actually, I can because I have only two in one of the slots. You will find your inventory constantly being swamped by a dearth of just freaking arrows everywhere because the arrows take up a lot of slots. That's the first guarder, but I'm not going to engage him yet because I'm going to wait for his twin to actually emerge so I can use Wesker's one-hit kill strike to kill both of them at once. 
And since I was unfortunate enough to run into both of them as Ada, I wish the game would just spawn the second one because I know it can't wait to do that. I got shot in the side once again, which is one of the main reasons why you want to stand in a blind spot in order to stop the archer from hitting you. I hate, I hate this, just this one component of this level is the freak. Oh, and I actually stunned the garter. I wonder if I can actually shoot him from here and kill him. I could not kill him. I actually hit him. Wow. Uh, please get out of the way so I can finish killing him. Fuck you. Where the fuck did he go? There's probably somebody right behind me. Garter just plowed into the wall. Somebody just spawned right here, which is why I'm gonna shoot him out and actually kill him in one strike. Huzzah, kill him in one strike with the freaking twirl. There's the garter. Once again, I'm about to get shot in the back, maybe. I love that the bow and arrow can stun the garter like that. Now, maybe his buddy will spawn. His buddy did just spawn, and he's about to slash the shit out of me. What'd he miss? Die! That was the last garter in the game. I'm gonna get this combo timer now because I'm almost out of time. In the time I have left, I probably will get a lot of kills. That guy's dead. And this guy's about to die. Actually, standing in here is pretty convenient to maximizing a kill score because enemies do spawn pretty consistently in this particular spawn zone. Crap. Thank you for not engaging the attack in time for me to set up another shot. That guy got shot in the face. And I have uh, five seconds left. Four. That was not a kill. Three. Two, one, it was not a kill because he had to register as being dead first. That's the second time in a row I got exactly around 134,000 points with Krauser. So that was the castle as Krauser. As you guys have noticed, Krauser's biggest disadvantage is that since he doesn't really have any more of a long range weapon as say Leon or Hunk, the archers present a significant hazard. Take whatever measures you can to avoid getting shot by the archers, because Krauser, I, I also find in the numerous times I've played as Krauser that he doesn't have as much access to healing items. I think it's because um, every time you use a full restore, he fills all the way the fuck up with health, and he has a higher max health than everybody else, which means that by the time you take enough damage to prompt the game to spawn healing items, you probably don't have any healing items to sustain yourself because the game doesn't spawn them as frequently as they would with the other characters, because the other characters get to yellow health that much more quickly. Once again, the arm attack is going to be your most powerful anti-garter weapon, anti-mini-boss weapon in general. Uh, the bow and arrow is also an effective anti-garter weapon, however, I don't care to use the bow and arrow because after you shoot the garter in the back once, if he doesn't just die outright, then you have to shoot him a second time, and Krauser takes about two seconds just to set up the fucking arrow again in order to shoot again. Hence, the arm attack is most likely going to be your anti-garter weapon in this level. 128 kills, I wish I could have gotten more. This has been Cloud9 Plays Resident Evil 4 The Mercenaries on the Xbox 360, brought to you by Rocket Rabbit Commentaries. In the next level, in the next part rather, we will be moving to the island as Krauser, his old alma mater. And you will conquer all the Ganados, including JJ, because JJ is slow as shit. I will see you guys next time.